so we've talked about drawing in six point perspective using the compass and everything to get uh, a more precise drawing and now we're going to look at uh, a more freehand take on things so if you want to go 100 percent freehand well maybe not 100 i guess 100 percent would be just uh drawing some curvy lines and hoping they came out right uh, you could start with a triangle that are going to be your bisecting lines. And then draw three arcs of more or less random size. And then call these your vanishing points. And I'm just going to continue those arcs. because I want to see where they cross again. Shoop. Which one have I missed? This one. And so here are our vanishing point pairs. So if this is down, this is up, that sort of thing. And then where these three cross is our center of vision. Um, and we don't really worry too much about where the, how big the 180 cone of vision is. And we can start drawing from here. Uh, let's do that same looking down feeling that we've been doing. Right, as things are, this box is going down, it's heading towards that vanishing point. It's going, uh, going back in space, it's heading towards that one. And as it's going over to the left, it's heading over towards that one. Um, and that often works pretty well. Sometimes, depending on how big your arcs are, um, where you put your triangle, uh, things get a little messed up. And you don't find out, yeah, you don't recognize the problem until you're pretty far along. So I prefer most of the time, I'll do this sometimes, to start off with a well constructed setup that I constructed before and traced, or maybe uh, just downloaded a picture and traced and so we have our bisecting lines our vanishing points and our center of vision and i'm going to go ahead and use the compass to put our three horizons in oops missed let's try that again Now, while I've got the compass out, I'm going to draw just a handful of guidelines. Um, actually, and I'm going to do the straight lines that go from the vanishing points. All right, I'm moving that vanishing point so it winds up right on the intersection. All right, so from the vanishing point through the center of vision, 
from the vanishing point. through the center of vision. And again, just for consistency's sake, I'm gonna keep this one representing down, um, this one we'll call north, and this one west. So, I want just a couple more guidelines to help me out before I start freehanding things. Just a few radiating lines to help me get a feel. And I could do these in um, different colors if I wanted. But hopefully this will be enough. All right, so I've got a good set of radiating lines coming out from the down vanishing point, a good set coming out from the north vanishing point. Um, I need a few more from the west. I guess that's about as big as I'm going to get in that direction. All right, so now I've got a, a random sort of grid here, but it's enough to sort of act as guidelines. Um, and uh, I'm going to draw a stone uh, staircase and a river. So these things are not 100% perfectly straight anyway, and so that sort of fits the... Um, The little wobbles and stuff that doing it by hand instead of doing it with a compass are going to give us. Let's sharpen my pencil a little. Okay, so we're going to be looking down at, yeah, say about, about here. And that's going to be sort of the landing where the staircase turns. And um, so coming up, like if I want to do a little chase of bricks, coming up from there. Not bricks, they're going to be stones until we get to... this top and so we're gonna see at the top of the stone wall I made it go too far here let's erase that before I confuse myself uh, we see a lot of the side because it's far away from the down vanishing point but we don't see very much from the top because it's close to the west vanishing point so we're gonna see the top of these bricks but not not by much and then um, this corner that comes up it's going to obscure our view of that thing there because down is over here. If down were over here, then we'd be able to see it not in the way. And the steps are going to go down, down, down. And the railing is going to match that and the the stonework though still stays horizontal so it's still pointing towards that vanishing point and up and down still points to that one um, this wall is going to come up this way and it's going to continue oh but that's raised so continue a little lower we've got this wall heading off into the distance here. Okay. 
Um, so we're looking almost straight down on this. And actually, I'm going to make this come out a little here. Because I want a railing coming up towards us, and I don't want it to be... We're looking straight down at it. I want to see a little bit of the... the wall here so we can see that going down and the steps oops see I started going this way that's wrong because this should follow that. So there we go. That's going to landing is going to distort out that way. All right. So there's our staircase that we're looking down. We have one landing, second landing, and then it goes down here. And we're going to have the uh, river that's going next to it. And the little sidewalk going along the river, and um, the river is going to turn. It's not going to be all the way straight. Um, and so we're going to have it head towards that new vanishing point here, and we're just going to take a guess, all right? But it'll be on the horizon. Right, because the up and down is still up and down. So there's the river, and we're going to have a street that goes past the wall and has... A little bridge over the river. Um, we're going to populate this with some trees. All right, trees have to go more or less up and down, right? And a little island out in the river. All right, this tree is huge, but that's okay. And there's trees in the distance. And then over here on the other side of the pond, we can see, or the river, we can see some trees. that are lower than we are, because we're standing up here on these steps. And some trees that are higher than we are, that go above the horizon line. And then back here, following along the, the river, um, that I can see I didn't I'm going to correct this because the river is not getting smaller as it goes off this way like it should. And I'm putting our trees and bushes on the other side. And maybe a little bench since this is obviously not a river out in the woods. It's got sidewalks and paths and benches and that sort of thing. It's a little park. And there's a, some buildings on the far side of the bridge. Uh, but they're little, you know, one-story houses down there. So they're not going to stick up above the horizon by much at all. Um, yeah. There we go.
All right, so that's just freehand drawing using just enough uh, compass arcs to get us started, keep our directions in the right place. Right, these stones, as they go down, get a little further and further away from us, get a little smaller and smaller. Oh, we need a little stone railing on that side too. I want to make sure the while the stones are randomly sized, you know, they're they're in a family. There's going to be a, a limit of how big they get and how small they get. So the tendency of the stones has to get bigger as it gets towards me. And smaller. As it moves away. A little shrub over there to help break things up. All right, and I'm just gonna erase a couple of the construction lines that are bothering me, keeping me from seeing. What? All right, and there's our freehand. Six point perspective drawing. Here we're looking down, which arcs all the way up to up, way off the paper. Here we're looking north, so everything that's pointing north and south heads towards that, which arcs back around to our south vanishing point, which would be down here. And here we're looking west, so everything pointing east west, like the sides of the river at this point. Head towards that vanishing point and then arc back around to meet our east vanishing point over here. And there we go. That's six point perspective in a nutshell. And then I think, how would I, if I was going to make a rectangular drawing, where would I crop it? All right, I want to see this brickwork. Yeah, I think probably about here. All right.